I conduct the Balloon Furniture Challenge with teams as a way for them to learn about creative problem solving. They have to construct a piece of furniture with about 40 balloons, some tape, and some string in just 15 minutes. That one of you, anyone you choose from your team, can sit or lay on without any appendage touching the floor for 10 seconds. You decide what shape the furniture will be. You decide how many balloons, how much tape. It's up to you to come up with a design very quickly and to execute that design and then test that design by putting one of you on there. The key lesson is that they have to engage in learning by doing. They can't just sit and think their way to a solution. It's an ambiguous task, something they've never had to confront before. So the only way that they can get to a solution is by experimenting, by trying things, and learning from those early trials and adapting. And that, of course, is crucial to the creative problem solving process. When I conduct the challenge, I ask students, would it have been helpful to have a furniture expert on your team? And some people naturally say yes because those people would bring the wisdom from the years of experience making furniture. But other students quickly begin to realize, wait, maybe there's a problem with that. You have to shed some of your pre-existing assumptions about what furniture should look like or what you already know about existing furniture. You have to sort of wipe the slate clean so you can invent something new. So here, experts can actually work against you and they might be resistant to new ideas. And often, it turns out, creative individuals face that resistance to new ideas from the very experts in their field.